Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Why in the Morning on your number one news station, Y254 channel. Uh, remember, if it's Tuesday, the hashtag to use is hashtag Entrepreneurship Tuesday. My name is Michelle Ashira. You can follow me across all my social media handles. That is at Michelle Ashira. In this particular session, we dive into an interesting interview. So we'll be looking at Consumer Choice Awards Africa 2022, what it entails, how did it come back? And I am joined by the founder and CEO, Diana Simon Laser. Hi, darling. Hi, Michelle. How are you? I am doing well. Karibu sana. Asante sana. Karibu Kenya, Jamani. So, you're going to be a to perfect your soil, what do you say that in, in Swahili? Um, Kiswahili chako na jaribu kukieka vizuri. Do you, Sasa, Jamani? <laughs> Yeah. Yes, Karibu sana Diana. Uh, kindly take this opportunity to briefly tell us who Diana Simon Laser is and also a brief background. Yes. Okay. Um, Diana Simon Laser is a Tanzanian young woman mm -hmm. who holds a bachelor degree in human resource management but saw uh, a, a different opportunity in life uh, apart from being employed but being self employed to, uh, towards uh, a field of, in of, of entertainment in creating um, Consumer Choice Awards, which is a platform that um, we'll talk about. But then Diana is, a, is also a social lady. Apart from being a founder and a, direct, and a director, Diana is a um, social person who has, uh, loves life and everything. And Diana is also uh, a sister and a friend to those who surround her. Oh, right. yeah. Uh, if we even get to do to get to what you do, yeah. and matters pertaining uh, CCA twenty twenty two, I'd like to briefly get to understand uh, mm. before you get in, you got into self employment. Yeah. what was Diana doing, mm. and at what particular uh, juncture in your life mm. that you decided that I'm just gonna get into this journey uh, yeah. of entrepreneurship. Okay, so I graduated my university at 2017. Mm -hmm. So immediately when you graduate, usually you now start looking out for opportunities, right? Yes. So I, I was looking out for opportunities, but for immediately as I graduated, I was working for my parents because they ran a tour operating company. Mm -hmm. So I was, I was working for them, but it was not uh, career satisfactory because now it's like you just, you have not done anything that's an extra mile for your career. So I, I tried to get employed to another company that's not from home but it didn't work well. Um, then after that, I tried to do other things. I tried to be a makeup artist. Okay. I opened a makeup studio and mm -hmm. I was doing brides. And then it went well, but not so well. But then that's what, at, the, at the cause of that, that's when I, I, I found myself birthing consumer choice. Mm -hmm. So my point is, in, in life, there are some times you might find yourself trying things and you are not making it in those areas or fields is because that's not where you're supposed to be. So maybe I was trying to get employed and I was not, it was, it was not working out well for me because that's not where I was supposed to be. I was supposed to not get employed to come and start my own thing mm -hmm. and, and maybe employ other people. Mm -hmm. So that's it. So I was, I was a self-entrepreneur. I only worked for employment for a very short time. I was, I was only employed for maybe six months. Mm -hmm. That's maximum. Mm -hmm. Then after that, I, I became a total entrepreneur. So from makeup artist, 2019, I, I, September, I, I founded Consumer Choice Awards. All right. Yeah. You know, from where you're seated, it's quite different from where you started. Because now you're looking back and saying, yeah. I was not meant to be there. Yeah. I was meant to be here. Because now you realize yourself and yeah. you, there's self-awareness from that context. Yes. Kindly take me, allow, allow me to take you back to the point whereby mm. uh, Diana is working for a tour and travel company that belongs to the prime. But she feels uh, not there, you know, not, yeah. not yet. And mm. Moving on to another company and not doing makeup, cosmetics, and yeah. uh, and that. And uh, what 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 made you push yourself to the point where you are trying new things? You understand? And also with your background, but you were not comfortable to the point where you settled. You were trying out new things and being open, opening the the door of discovery. What pushed you to that particular point? I think it's because I've always been a dreamer. I have had a I've always had a big vision. I see myself in big platforms because when you trace back my history back in school i was that girl when we have school competitions of maybe um say what do you call this 
debates, I'll be the one to represent the school. Mm -hmm. So I, I've always been a girl for the platforms. But ab ab apart from that, I also participated in Miss Tanzania back in the days. Uh -huh. So I, I was also a pageant queen. I never won Miss Tanzania, but I won the zone, so mm -hmm. the zonos area. Mm -hmm. So I was, all, I always saw myself as a big, as a big woman. But I just never knew on what angle. I always, I've always been a person for self-drive. I've always loved having a strong career. I've always loved having, um, having a tough uh, career that can support me financially. I've always had the notion of being an, a self-independent woman. So it's that, that, uh, it's that drive, that, that dream that made me never stop. So when I'm with my parents, I'm never, I'm not independent. Mm -hmm. I live under under them. Like this is what you get, this is what you do. When I'm doing makeup, I'm, I was not getting uh, enough profit. So mm -hmm. it, it's not, it's not, it's not financially fulfilling. Mm -hmm. You get. So I, I have a dream. I need to, I need to travel the world. I need to do this. So I, when I look at this, I, I'm seeing myself. Okay, I'm not gonna get there. Mm -hmm. So let me look for another way. Mm -hmm. So that's when this one came around. All right, and uh, looking at your family setup, who yeah. had the most, or who has the most influence, uh, who had the most influence when you were starting off in this particular journey of self-discovery? Mm. Yeah. Okay, so my mom has always been a career woman as well. My mm. mom is a very uh, hardworking woman. But now when it comes on to the side of being uh, who, who inspired me most, mm -hmm. I feel like it's it's my mom, to some part is my mom, but most part is myself, mm -hmm. because I was the one who's looking at the future me because sometimes by the time when I was starting this they were all like not sure what are you saying because when I was telling them the plan they were like what are you saying <laughs> we are going to create a platform that will award banks yeah like did you get also people who will ask you yeah. who do you think you are why oh would yes. you want to oh yes. you know these oh yes. people have been into the industry for about 20 plus years oh yes. I, I came across that because now when I founded in 2019, the funny part is I started, I started with a very humble beginning. Mm -hmm. So like whenever I approached people, I, I appear as that humble person who, who has nothing, not from the looks, not the, from, from the, nothing that will make you feel like this is a CEO for this big project. So people would be like, who are you to award like this? But I, was, I, I, I kept telling them the vision, is, the idea is not me awarding the banks. Mm -hmm. The idea is not me awarding the telecos. The, award, the idea is me creating a platform that these companies get awarded by the consumer, ah. the end user. So I'm not awarding. I'm just creating a, a platform, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. So it, it was really tough, at least for the first, for first second year. But... Mm -hmm. When God gives you something, as again, we go back to that. Mm -hmm. He makes a way on it. All right. Yeah. All right. Daniel, you, you'll agree with me. Mm -hmm. It's one thing to have a vision, to have an idea, yeah. and then getting on ground to implement it. It's another thing. You need capital. You need finances to mm -hmm. actually uh, steer gear the whole idea right. the, whole, uh, the whole day. Mm -hmm. How did you go about that? Here, let, let, take me through. You have the idea now, yeah. right? You'll be awarding uh, different business enterprises yeah. uh, from a point of view where the consumers are actually choosing uh, mm. who is the winner, second runners up, and how it flows. Mm. Take me through. You have the idea now. Now the process of implementing it. How long did it take? And what were some of the challenges that you learned along the way? Okay, so I'll give all the credit back to God. Okay. Though the world doesn't only believes in science, but I also believe there is God. Because now the way Consumer Choice Awards came to me, it came in a very divine way. Mm -hmm. Because I, I, I only, uh, I started it in September 2019. And then in December 2019, we held the first award. So it's only a period of three months. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. For a person with no capital. So I started with no capital. Mm -hmm. But then let's say my capital was my car. Okay, because I had a car immediately after graduating, my parents like gave me as a present. So, in fact, I didn't buy my because they, they gave me money because I was in another city. They gave me money to buy the car. So I didn't buy exactly the amount that they gave me. I saved some amount to, to run the program, but it was a very small amount to say you could run the program. But I was able to at least move, put some fuel, move from here to there. So that was my first capital. My second capital was the human resource, the people around me. So because now at least I think my bachelor degree in HR had a role in it because I was able to utilize the people around me and make it happen. Because around me, I know a friend who's graduated 
who knows marketing, then I call you and I tell you, you know what? I have a plan. I don't have money to pay you, but mm-hmm. it has a future. Mm-hmm. Okay? Mm-hmm. Let's do this. Mm-hmm. So I, I was working with people part-time because I can't, I can't pay you. So you sell the dream. I sell the dream. Mm-hmm. So people like are working in the other companies, but on the part-time, they're helping me. So some saw the, the vision in it. So they were like, okay, we'll stick to this. Some did not. Mm-hmm. Some were like, no, 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 I, I can't do this. Mm-hmm. So in that, you, you must meet with both kind of people. Mm-hmm. But the ones who say, who don't believe in the dreams are the ones who push you mm-hmm. to make sure that you will do it to just come and prove to them that this was possible. Right. Okay? okay. So, and then that was the second capital. Then the third capital was getting sponsors, getting partners to to come in and facilitate the event. So at first, my I, I tried to approach companies to give me money. But then it was not possible for the fact that it was late. That was September. Most companies had closed their budgets. But then secondly, it's my first year. I don't even know how to draft a proposal. In fact, I even I, I went. I, I did the two, two trials. I just went to two companies. The first, the, the, the guy just took my um, my proposal and just did this. Like yeah. like this is this is nothing. This is crap. This is trash. Yes, it's trash. But then to me. That guy may, pushed me to become who I am today because mm-hmm. he made me go back and rethink on my proposal, how I need to do it better, right? So now I closed the chapter of looking for funds. Now I had to look for vendors to support. See, we are doing awards that cover event planners for the first time. Mm. Event planners, like I, there is a company in Tanzania, one, it's one of the biggest event planner. I went to them, they're like, look, We've been on the business for more than 20 years. We've never had an award. We support platforms that award other people, but no one sees us for what we're doing. The fact that you're bringing this on board, we will give you support. So now I have a partner who will cover on the side of Deco. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay? Mm-hmm. So that if the first 2019 Consumer Choice Awards, it was divinely covered. Photographers were appearing. We will do the coverage. No one has ever considered awarding photographers. Mm-hmm. You get Everyone, like designers, were, were, we were dressed by designers. Like no one has ever seen us designers. So we will give you the plan, we'll give you the support. So I got the support from the vendors. And that was how the first Consumer Choice Awards was successful. Now, immediately we did that. We had a platform to come now show the partners. So in the next year is when we started getting sponsorship. Our first sponsor was a, was, we, we, get, we got our first financial sponsor now on the second year. That was, that was Absa Bank. Mm-hmm. Then after that, it's now all history. All right. Yeah. So you took a step of faith. We took a step of faith. Fantastic. Fantastic. And I'll look, let me take you back. Because, <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. we young people, when we are venturing into uh, spaces of where we feel we have ideas and we yeah. want to implement them and just dive on the, uh, dive off the ship and, ship and just see what happens. Mm-hmm. When you met the gentleman who, you know, uh, c- crashed, <laughs> trashed your whole uh, proposal, yeah. which I believe you took time to draft and all that. Mm-hmm. Why did you, why didn't you feel like maybe this, because I'm sure there were naysayers of the whole idea and everything. Mm. Why didn't you like go back and say, maybe they are right. Maybe I should just go back to employment and do what I've been doing the most of my years. It's, it, the amazing thing about consumer choice, the, immediately the moment the vision came into my mind, it was so real. It was, it was so real for me to ever doubt it. So anytime I come across someone who doubts it, I'll tell them, no. Because you believed in yourself. I believed in it. Because imagine there's a friend of my mom who is also is a very wealthy man, has companies in Arusha. So I contacted mm-hmm. the person as well mm-hmm. and told him, I'm, I'm this so-and-so's daughter, can you support my program? Mm-hmm. What he told me, told me, young lady, stop nonsense. Get yourself a good job like your mom. You know, get yourself a serious career. This kind of life you're choosing, he crushed me like, trash Mm -hmm, you mm -hmm, get mm -hmm. but it didn't break to me like i i don't know how and why to some point whenever i met the naysayers it's like it was just going through this year and then outside through this through Mm -hmm. the other year Mm -hmm. so i think it's because the idea was so real Mm -hmm. the picture the vision was so real i saw it i knew it you get so mm-hmm. it was it's so hard for anyone to tell me el- something else because i'm seeing the road so it, it goes back to the point that when you have a clear vision mm-hmm. you will when you see someone starting something and then they don't proceed with it it's because they don't have the clear vision but if 
someone has a clear vision mm-hmm. there is no obstacle to it because you see the end the the the, the beginning uh, does matters nothing because you see tomorrow mm-hmm. yeah okay yeah. now take us through uh, lavin international agency what does what 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 exactly does the agency do mm. and is this particular agency that you know bath uh, the consumer choice africa uh, awards to africa awards yeah so lavin is the company that manages and operates consumer choice awards mm-hmm. so they were both born at the same time because mm-hmm. now when i said i want to start consumer choice mm-hmm. i had to register lavin i also registered consumer choice but consumer choice is like a product it's, mm-hmm. a, it's like a brand because consumer choice is a is a program it's an event right but lavin can do other things lavin mm-hmm. can do pr consultancy lavin can do ma- marketing consultancy uh it can do other events but then among the products of lavin we have the main product because now when you even in companies when they produce the products they have the main products and they have the sub products mm-hmm, right mm-hmm. so consumer choice is the main product of lavin international mm-hmm. agency mm-hmm. Yeah. so you offer services from public relations events everything you can cover under one roof yes okay we, we do public relation consultancy we do marketing consultancy but as in for now mm-hmm. we had stopped we had put a pause on that because it was now bringing a conflict of interest in a way mm-hmm. you are doing pr consultancy for a company who is a nominee at the consumer choice yes, yes, awards yes, yes, yes. so at least at the end of the day consumer choice awards is now uh creating a certain kind of conflict of interest to the clients that you're supposed to offer pr services to because if i'm your pr mm-hmm. i should tell you how to do uh to do your campaigns for the award mm-hmm. so i should make sure you're winning the award very true now how am i your pr while i'm the organizer for this award yes. so we had now stopped on that angle mm-hmm. but then also for the fact that consumer choice was we still say we're in a startup level we're on a fourth year mm-hmm. right for, th- for at least to five years it's still startup mm-hmm. so it needs so much focus mm-hmm. and because our vision is not only to become a award you know it's not just an event that take, takes place in a year it's a program it's a big thing we are creating it as an institution that inside it it will have other big things mm-hmm. so now because we are running it as a program rather rather an event or an award it works as a company itself consumer choice awards mm-hmm. so now our focus for this five years is to make sure it stabilizes that we are able to launch other programs in the future that this one is stable it has its market it has its grounds set clearly okay diana yeah. so who is eligible to participate on uh, this particular uh, event award event no on the consumer choice awards it's everyone when you said consumers we are all consumers of certain goods goods certain services so we are all eligible to participate in terms of nominating who 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 is to be nominated who who participates in the award is a decision that can be made by everyone mm-hmm. but also who wins the award is a decision that can be made by everyone that's why the after nomination we usually go to the voting period where like the public is now informed to vote okay and also when it comes to the side of participants it depends on the categories that we set mm-hmm. so now as so long as a company or a business falls under our criteria mm-hmm. they are eligible to participate all right and what are these criteria so it depends for instance it's a bank mm-hmm. usually set for instance it's a bank we are looking at maybe um most preferred bank at digital service digital banking services um say in eastern africa so any bank that does digi- has digital banking services in eastern africa is eligible to participate but mm-hmm. not in western africa okay. you cannot find that bank in that category mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. so same applies to let, let's say if if we say medical insurance company of the year in africa mm-hmm. so we look at a company that covers medical insurance all over africa mm-hmm. those are the criteria mm-hmm. yeah oh, fantastic and uh, someone for someone who's watching this yeah. and they uh, they run a particular business and they've yeah. been into uh into the industry or the industry for a long period of time and they believe that mm-hmm. you know, they deserve an opportunity to be nominated and even win an award how do they go about uh, the the process of registration and also uh, the aspect of nomination so now for 2022 mm-hmm. the nominations launch in june okay, okay. Mm-hmm. through our website that's www.ccawardsafrica.co.tz mm-hmm. so when you go to that website there's a section that's called nominations mm-hmm. so when you go to the nomination there's categories now you look at what category you fall you fall under mm-hmm. say maybe i am um 
I'm a, I'm a makeup artist, mm-hmm. okay? I'll just go to the categories and I'll see uh, the category be beauty and entrepreneurship. Then inside the beauty and entrepreneurship, I'd find makeup artists. Then that's where I can fill my form and get no- nominate myself or ask people to nominate me. Mm-hmm. Same when it comes to voting, we'll have a section for voting where we have uploaded all the names and all the categories. But also when someone stays updated on our social media, that's our Instagram, that's CC, it's CC Awards Africa. So when someone uh, keeps track of our Instagram, they are able to see the categories because usually when you launch the nomination, we post the categories on the Instagram, so we, we elaborate them. Mm-hmm. So now someone is able to know, okay, according to my nature of business, I should fall under this category. All right. Yeah. I'm in a space whereby uh, human resource uh, is very important. Mm-hmm. And let's look at networking. Networking, yeah? Okay. Oh, how do you cut across to a point whereby you build uh, a network which is of great uh, worth to mm-hmm. you and your business? Mm-hmm. Uh, for someone who is watching this conversation who is an entrepreneur and they, w- they always struggle with that, how important is it and how they can they cut that challenge? Mm. You know, in business, networking is everything. Because actually they would say the, 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 the biggest capital you have is your network, okay? So what I, I, I would really advise or what I usually do is to keep track, okay? Keep track. For instance, we have a program that after the awards, we, we collect feedbacks from the winners. We do interviews. That's a way of m- maintaining the network, okay? So whenever you do business, always have a way to maintain your chain of consumers. Say you've sold a, a beauty skin care product to, mm-hmm. a, to a, I'll just stick with that side. <laughs> <laughs> Say you've just, uh, you sold a beauty skin care product mm-hmm. to a lady. Mm-hmm. You can keep track by uh, following up. How is it working on your face? You know, or maybe you are a travel agent. Mm-hmm. You've booked my trip to say it's vacation somewhere, right? Maldives, Maldives. Yes. Seashells. Seashells, Maldives, mm-hmm. wherever. Yeah. <laughs> You keep track with me wherever I am. Are yeah. you enjoying the Maldives? Yeah. Are you liking this? Mm-hmm. So be, during that course, we become friends. Mm, you okay? build a relationship. You build a relationship. Mm-hmm. Or, and then we, when I'm back, like, you know, so now if I have friends who want to travel, mm-hmm. who would I recommend them to? Of course, you recommend them to me. Because you are in my, you are, you are, you're already in my chain of network. Oh. So I feel like maintaining the network is very important because through one person, there are 10 other people you can get behind. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. There you have it. Maintain relationships. Keep them. It's not just selling a product and ending you the relationship. It. Yeah. Uh, that's that's very crucial and very important. Crucial. And also the aspect of referral as well. I think mm. that's a key point out yes. there. All right. Let's look at now. Uh, here comes the uh, choice uh, consumer choice awards. Mm. Uh, ha- you know, brought into life in 2019. Then COVID hits. In yeah. 2020, yeah. how did the, how did that affect the business for you guys? Well, it, 20, 2020 was supposed to be a tough year for us. Mm-hmm. Was supposed, but as I said, I believe in God. Yes. So when God gives you something, He makes a way. Mm-hmm. So miraculously, He made a way. When things were going down to us, it's when things went up. Mm-hmm. Companies were not spending. But fortunately or unfortunately enough, there are companies who are also spending. That's why I told you in 2020, we got our first sponsor. Yes. You get, that Mm -hmm. was Absa Bank. Mm -hmm. Now, to us, it was like, I don't know, it was supposed to be the opposite. Mm -hmm. Maybe company says we are cutting budgets and everything. Mm -hmm. So we didn't didn't feel it exactly to that point because we were growing. If say we had already 10 years in the industry Mm -hmm. and then we had big partners already and then they maybe they dropped out Mm -hmm. that was when we would have felt the pain Mm -hmm. but we are coming from an angle where we did not have at all so we we had one Mm -hmm. so to us it was no complaint yes yes yes. yeah all right and looking back through this journey uh do you have any regrets or do you wish you had started earlier no i don't have regrets i'll tell you why Mm -hmm. Any mistake I've made is what is a, is a stepping stone to me becoming better. Mm-hmm. And there is no perf- journey of perfection. I don't believe in perfection. I embrace my journey. Whenever I fell down, I embrace it because it's a part of me standing up. Mm-hmm. Okay? Mm-hmm. So whatever, we've made mistakes a lot every mm-hmm. year. And I'm glad that the people who work with us, they bear with us. 
though we don't relax in the fact that they bear with us, whenever we make a mistake, we go back and crack our heads. What do we do next to make sure that we don't do the same mistakes? Mm. Okay? So, any mistake I've made, in, it's what makes me keep perfect. So if you look, even if, even if you take a track of our, for our first event, second event, third event, you'll see the elevation, okay? So those mistakes are lessons mm -hmm. that better us. All right, good yeah. to hear that, good to hear that. You know, for any uh, business person who's running any business and they start something, mm -hmm. uh, they literally see uh, the business as their child because you have to, you know, mm -hmm. you work 24-7, There's, you know, you're always on the move and just seeking out the the vision and actually looking forward in, the, in terms of future and all that. So for me, I would like to ask you, like, in terms of... Um, you studying the company mm. and holding down the vision. I would like to find out how do you build your capacity? Because uh, you, you're always giving when it comes to you know, your company. How do you build your capacity to just uh, broaden your spectrum? Do you have any mentors and all that? Oh, yes, we do. Mm -hmm. uh, like I said, yearly we grow. For instance, on our first year, we had one mentor. But then now we have a board. Mm -hmm have a board of uh, almost seven people. And all, all these seven people are brilliant people in the country. You know, like the key thinkers. And as we grow now, I've gone Africa. No, th that means I'll start having international mentors, mm -hmm. not only Tanzanian mm -hmm. mentors, right? So I keep opening that door for learning every day because it's very, it's, it's as much important for me to learn from people because now I have idea with what I'm doing, right? But then I'll also, in a way, encounter someone who has idea in managing finances. I need to know how to manage finances, right? Because I'm doing, a, I'm managing a company. Mm -hmm. So it's good for me to learn from this person. I'll meet a person who knows diplomacy because at the end of the day, this, this work needs diplomacy, political diplomacy, because mm -hmm. we work with the government. Mm -hmm. I need to learn from that person. Mm -hmm. So I have these figures of which I learn from as we grow every year, mm -hmm. I increase them in numbers. Fantastic. Yeah. What are a couple of challenges that you have uh, undergone and learned through them, through the whole process? Well, the pressure, because uh, when you're doing a very big thing, it becomes pressure, very pressuring, especially for the past three years, because now it's a startup and I'm the only one who really has the vision. So like I fit in every department. When you go to the production, I'm the head of production. You go You're to every heart. I'm, I'm everywhere. So now it gets to a point that the work overloads me. Mm -hmm. There is a time I, we need to post on Instagram, but then also um, we need news going on the newspapers. At the same time, we need uh, T -t TV adverts to be running. At the same time, you're needed here to, why? <laughs> to do an interview. You get my point? Yes. So it gets at to a point that I am overloaded. Mm -hmm. But now I'm solving that challenge in a way that I'm creating, um, I'm creating supervisors who represent me in all these, um, in all these sub, sub, or let's say departments, mm -hmm. just to, to, to make sure that this load that I've been working with for the past three years now changes because I said I want this to become an institution mm. that it runs by itself mm -hmm, mm -hmm. whether I'm there or, or not, not there yeah. it still runs yes, yes. so now that's the that's the work I have for these two years oh, right. to create a ground that even when I'm not here mm. it's still operating still running yes. Yes. I'd like yeah. to find out the culture what sort of culture do you push to your employees that they buy the same vision that you have that if they meet a client on your behalf mm that we will see that there's no difference if I met maybe, let's say Ram is working with you. Mm. If I meet Ram, I'll see the same uh, enthusiasm, the same fire that I'll meet Diana. What sort of culture are you pushing in the company? Um, I'll say typical corporate uh -huh. because our clients are corporates. Mm -hmm. Okay, when you say consumer choice, consumers are not corporate. Mm -hmm. They can be anyone, right? Yes, yes, yes. And then when you say it, consumer choice awards, also we have, because now we have um, two subdivisions in the category, in the mm -hmm. awards. Mm -hmm. We have the corporate mm -hmm. subdivision, right? We mm -hmm. have the insurance, banks, telcos, mm -hmm. but also we have the entrepreneurship mm -hmm. categories mm -hmm. that these ones, they don't, they're not necessarily that corporate, mm -hmm. right? So we are that, but then our biggest clients mm -hmm. are the corporates. Mm -hmm. That's the truth. Mm -hmm. We deal with everyone, mm -hmm. but at the end of the day, the funders mm -hmm. are the corporates. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So those are the, the big, the backbones of the program. Mm -hmm. So because of that, our culture is corporate. Mm -hmm. So that's what I train them 
to become more corporate, the way they receive emails, the way they receive calls, the way they, they introduce themselves in meetings. I maintain that. Mm-hmm. For like, uh, because we have, a, we have the main team and the support team, you find that I, I give them uniform because I want you to appear like, when you appear somewhere, the, the, someone knows this is Consumer Choice Awards. You represent the company. You represent the company. So mm-hmm. I re- I'm really strict on that angle from the personality mm-hmm. to the presentation mm-hmm. to the way clients are handled. Mm-hmm. I trained it and that's, I still have a work to do, but I know in the next two, three years, it will be exactly how I want. Wonderful. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. So what should people expect when it comes to the Consumer Chess Award uh, 2022? Actually, I think they should expect the best mm-hmm. because as I said, we keep growing bigger and getting better. So yes. last year it was big. Mm-hmm. It was a glamorous event. We had people from Nigeria, South Africa, Kenya attend the award, right? So we expect this year is going to be more. Mm-hmm. So I'm telling the Kenyans out there to like, make sure you participate. You nominate yourself. You mm-hmm. nominate your companies. You nominate your businesses. Participate because it's, it, this is going to be the center of Africa. Consumer Choice Awards is going to be the center of Africa. It's going to be a summit that connects business personalities from all over the continent. Fantastic. Yes. When will the, when, when will the event happen and where will it happen? Because... You were based in TZ, so but I know we are, we are in a spectrum of on an African uh, yeah. lane. So I would like to know where the event will happen. So f- currently, it's still holding in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. Mm-hmm. But the fact that we made it Africa gives us an open door mm-hmm. in the f- near future. If we ever want to start rotating mm-hmm. in the way in places where we hold it. Mm-hmm. In the future, we'll look at that. But currently, we're still based in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. All right. Yeah. All and right. it will take place in November this year. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. So for anyone who wants to reach out to you uh, for any further com- uh, conversation or they're interested to just engage with you on a personal level, how can they reach you on social media and keep the conversation going? And your camera is camera, the third one. Okay. So you can follow, up or follow us on Instagram. It's CC Awards Africa. It's just CC Awards Africa. When you follow us there, you can always DM. Our team is always there to like respond. You can send emails. We will respond and get to you. There you have it. I hope I will be invited for event because I want to sleep on the red carpet. Yeah, sure, you should. You <laughs> should come. We I like to lay. have different people from, from different parts of Africa. So, yeah, I'm inviting you officially. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> can, I, can I be the host of the most during the event, please? Um, yeah, sure. There you have it. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Michelle has gone international. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going international. <laughs> Thank you, Dale, for creating time to be with us and Thank taking so us much, through Michelle. what Consumer Chase Awards uh, is all about and how it was bad and to where we are right now and how the future looks looks like and the yeah. business aspect of it yes thank you very much thank you Dale. so much michelle caribou sada <laughs> so that is diana simon laser who is the founder and ceo of the consumer choice awards and we are looking forward to definitely consumer choice awards 2022 so keep the conversation going at y254 channel is where you can find us across all our social media handles at michelle ashira is where you can find me across all my social we'll be right back with so much right here on entrepreneurship tuesday